Now, as we've been reporting this story for the last two plus years, you've been listening and following along. Today, after word of Siemens' death came out just around 10 o'clock, and we posted that story on the WKBN 27 First News Facebook page, a new wave of comments started rolling in about it. All right, First News reporter Molly Reed has been judging those reactions, gauging them, and she has a, a sampling of that opinion now. She joins us live back in the studio. Yeah, as Julie was just saying from the scene at Powers Way, there's been a lot of reaction from friends and family who knew the family. There's also been a lot of reaction from you, our viewers who have been following this case with us for the past two years. Now, since we posted the story to Facebook this morning, there have been over 800 comments, and the story has been sh shared over 2,800 times. So we're going to go ahead and show you some of the comments we got today. They got a lot of people replied or agreed to. First one from Richard saying, though he may escape, justice from man, he will not escape justice from God. Another from Matthew, which was the top comment based on the amount of likes it got, said, this is the best news he's heard all year. Jamie said he had the choice of living or not, and that beautiful child and her grandparents never had that choice because he took them. There's a lot of relief because he will never be back on our streets, but what a cowardly thing to do. And Albert said, finally, the end to this horrific and sad crime that he committed. Now the victims can rest in peace and their family and friends can have closure. Now, as we were reading through these comments and talking to people today, there was some sadness for Robert Seaman as he took his own life, but a big sigh of relief for Corinne Gump, Bill and Judy Smith, and the case that the case is now over. For now in the newsroom, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.